Welcome back to another Cooking with Jay. Today we're gonna make some coleslaw. Am I wearing the same clothes as I was in the last video? Welcome back to another Cooking with Jay. Today we're gonna make some coleslaw. Super simple, it's gonna be quick and short. But just wanted to show you, I like our coleslaw more creamy. I say our. He doesn't eat coleslaw, but I'm making it for Easter. So we like our coleslaw more creamy. Most coleslaws will call for an apple cider vinegar. I just use regular white vinegar. If you have the apple cider vinegar recipes, that's okay. Just sub out whatever they say for apple cider for regular white vinegar. Um, totally okay. The apple cider gives that tanginess. So if you like that tangy, what is the other word for it? My dad always asks, is it creamy or is it tangy, I think. so. We like creamy, which means more mayo than tangy, so follow this if you want creamy, my God. This is what we're gonna do, coleslaw. So, 14 ounce coleslaw mix. That's what this is, with a half a cup of mayonnaise. What should we do first? Let's put all the liquid in here first and then add this. Yeah, so we're gonna do a half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup. Of mayonnaise. Okay, I know it says mayonnaise and I'm using Miracle Whip. I don't know if you can see that, but don't judge me. You don't buy mayo, okay? If you buy mayo, good for you. I just got Miracle Whip on my finger. Alright, that's definitely enough. Too much. Too much. Not enough. Fucking balls. Come on. See how there's that hole in the middle that you don't want that fairly. Anyway. But you don't want it overfilling. Actually, you might not care. Let's go overfilling. Okay. Half a cup of mayonnaise. What is the difference between mayonnaise and Miracle Whip? Do you know? I don't know. Miracle Whip cream here? Mayo cream here. I know Jimmy John's uses Hell, 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 what is it called? Hellman's. Hellman's Mayo. Not Miracle Whip, it's Hellman's Mayo. Yeah. This is Miracle Whip. I do love the stuff from Jimmy John's, it's good, but it pairs well with their stuff. But like this stuff pairs well with like deli meat that I get from Coburn's. So it's whatever you like, you know? But I do feel like, I think I'd have to agree if people are gonna say Mayo's creamier. Nobody says nothing. There's no comments in my video. What am I saying? <laughs> if I had comments in my video and they said that it was creamier, I'd agree. Okay. <gasps> we got mayo on our cardigan. Gosh golly. That was one step. Wow, I feel like I've been here for days. And then it shut off again. I got it. Wow. Two tablespoons of sugar. Here's our sugar. I don't know if I did this the last time. Try this. Sugar. One tablespoon. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I reacted to that. That was crazy. Two tablespoons. There's a ton on top of the console. Wow. Aggressive. Why? How is the, what is the lock time on this? Gosh. Gosh, golly. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. One and a half? What do you mean? All right, one and a half, that's what it means. One. Oh, let's half a teaspoon. I don't have for half a, we don't have half a tablespoon, so we're just gonna fill this halfway. Like there. Good call. <laughs> that's what we just did. One tablespoon of white vinegar. Remember, if you're using the apple cider, that's fine. There's so much sugar on the floor right now. Oh, Jesus. You did too much. One tablespoon. One fourth teaspoon, make sure you switch it up. Fourth teaspoon of salt. All right. 
one fourth teaspoon kosher salt and why another oh we can use this one half a teaspoon of pepper all right we're gonna mix that together and then add the coleslaw mix what should we mix this with a fork yeah we love forks we love forks in this house Okay, so we're gonna mix this all together. Uh-oh. Maybe a whisk would be better, but we're gonna try this. We're gonna continue. It looks a little chunky, but it smells good. It smells close to y Okay, we're gonna add in the coleslaw. Let's see if we can just she it. Ready? Beautiful. Is that not beautiful? Where'd the fork go? Is the fork in there? It wasn't. Okay. I knew it was in there. Um, mix. Wow, it feels like we're gonna need more. Where did the dressing go? Did we not put dressing in this bowl? We did. Okay. Take a deep breath. Mix it all together. Maybe we should have put this in first and then the dressing. I'm unaware. My, I need to sneeze. There is some pepper over here. I sneeze with pepper. There is no way that is, wait, that's what they called for a 14 ounce bag of coleslaw? You guys, look at this, this is so dry. Okay, maybe we need to just remix it. We'll take it time, we'll give it time. Give it time. Two hours later. Giving it time. <laughs> Do people not like more of a dressing filled coleslaw? The last one I made was way creamier than this. Remember I said I like creamy? Where's the creamy? Halfway through, see if it's good. Uh, Cheers in case it is good. Oh. Wow. Wait a second, Mom. That is actually really good. Is it? <gasps> Does the producer like this one? Yeah. Yeah. Can you try and see? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's have you try. Trade thoughts. You ready? Mm. More or less. Okay. Oh, That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. shit. Bring it back to me. Let me say it. We're done. Fuck, I guess we're done. I didn't know that was that good. I would have added more. It doesn't look very creamy, but it does taste really good. So we're gonna stop there. What you can do is add some celery salt or celery seed. Celery seed. I only have celery salt, that's what it is. Celery seed adds that like, I don't know, that bite that you're wanting when you don't do the apple cider vinegar. That's what my dad said. I don't know how much. Start with less, cause you can always add more. So start with like a quarter of a teaspoon maybe. Um, but this is good for my liking and I think for the people I'm going to bring it to. So we're going to stop there. So thanks again for watching Cooking with Jay. We'll see you next time.